All right, check this out right here. Look, Illuminati cards, black activist. Look at this. Uh, okay. Uh, now I want to show you how this played out in real life here. Look at this. Queen's hatchet attack. Wikipedia. Uh, police hatchet attack. An act of terror, terror, terror. Let's see. Show us the guy's face. Show me your face, bud. Come on now. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, dude, kind of. You notice how they kind of got him looking like. Uh, he's looking kind of like Ramboed out. He looks like Rambo. Same kind of coat and everything. Let's see. Where's this? I'm trying to look for his whole mug shot. I know it's in here. Okay, he didn't show it. Let me back it up. Lone wolf terrorism weapons hatchet. Man, they won't show his fucking face. Um. Dude, where in the heck is this freaking his mugshot, dude? I think this was a false flag anyway, but, um, uh, I don't know, it's just too perfect, man, people don't do that, people don't go with hats uh, up against people uh, strapped with guns and shit, I mean, it's, it's too cut and dry, man, it's too easy, sprinkle some crack on it, police found him with a pocket full of crack. Okay, where in the heck is this guy's freaking face? Took a lot longer than I wanted. have no photos of this guy, man. It's kind of pissing me off. Man, I swear there was one, he, there was a, uh, there's got to be a, a freaking mug shot, let's try one more. <laughs> uh, hatchet man attack. Let's see. What was in it? Okay, here's a real black activist. Look, Steve Coakley, Boule Convention. Stolen property. Steve uh, Coakley. I heard about this on the radio on Flint today, which was quite weird. 
Come on, give me the dude's photo. Oh, we got... Nope, that ain't him. Oh, so there's a bunch of PSYOPs to do, to, to do with hatchet attacks. Steve Coakley, the boule. That's a real black activist. Nope, he ain't the hatchet man either. Different dude. See, this is a big psyop because there's a lot of... There's too many hatcheters. But anyway, there was one that there was one hatcheter, and he was a black dude with dreadlocks who looked very similar to the to the dude in Black Activist. Look. Oh, this one's a woman. This was on uh, news today. They was talking about this man and Flint. Uh, man, there's mostly white hatchet attackers on this. Nope, not this guy neither. This looks like a uh, Flint Town Stabber operation, straight up fabricated. Straight up fabrications. Well, I mean, some of them might be real actual attacks, but a lot of them might just be uh, active shooter drills where they have, they don't have no one participating in their active shooters, so they actually have active uh, wielders, which are people who come in attacking with uh, very rudimentary uh weapons in situations that just don't seem anyone I mean even a even a madman isn't that stupid sometimes that's how you know when it's like something funky going on yep well, I can't find the, I can't find the photo of this guy I can't find the uh can't find the black hatchet attacker. That's oh well no that ain't him but uh he definitely fits the profile. Like I swear the picture I seen of him he had longer dreads than that. So Oh, that was uh, not quite there, but anyway, trying to trying to get a good shot of Mr. Uh, Coakley. He, this guy was assassinated. Look, black activist. That is Steve Coakley. Holy shit! They assassinated this guy. The poor hatchet man got taken out. Look, they even got the same color damn coat on. Look, I'm telling you, this is a fucking game. Number four, ritual. Four, ritual. Uh-oh, listen. This is probably not long before he got assassinated. Check this guy out, though. His name's Steve Coakley, man. He's just a uh, researcher guy from the 90s. They took him out. He didn't make it. Rest in peace, dude. 